Hi, my name is Pierre-Antoine Grison. I'm a producer and Ableton certified trainer, and I also develop things to help out musicians. I'm very proud to present you my latest creation. It's called Looper Mode, and it's a control surface script for push and launch pad. If you have ever used Live's Looper, one of the first things you must have noticed is the lack of visual feedback and dedicated controller. This is even more striking when you are using more than one looper. This is where Looper Mode enters. With Looper Mode, you can use your controller's user mode to display up to 16 loopers on a single page. Once installed, you can enter Looper Mode by simply pressing the user or custom button on your device. For now, there is no looper setup, so a zero is displayed. To add the looper to the display, all you need to do is select it and press the new button. On the launch pad, this is the blue button on the right hand side. Instantly, the controller will detect it and a number of pads will light up. They all belong to the looper number one. The top pad reflects the state of the looper. It will turn red if the looper is recording, green if it is playing, blue if it's overdubbing and white if it is stopped or cleared. Pressing this button will change the looper's state. The second button shows the color of the track on which the looper is. So, if you move the device to another track, the color will change. Pressing this pad will select and show the looper. This is especially useful if you have more than one looper in your set. The third pad displays and controls the mute state of the track on which the looper is. The fourth pad is the arm button. If monitoring is set to auto, the button will be red if the track is armed and black if it is not armed. If monitoring is set to in, the pad will be blue. And if monitoring is set to off, it will be blinking red, telling you that there is no direct input for this looper. You can have up to 16 loopers displayed and you can arrange your page as you want by manually renaming the loopers. There are a few limitations when controlling the loopers with the script. This can be avoided by mini-mapping the big multi-purpose button on the looper's device. To do that, you first have to make sure that your controller has remote enabled in the preferences. In mini-map mode, assign the top pad to the device's multi-purpose button. This way, you can still control your looper, but also stop it and clear it. Of course, all the settings will be recalled when setting your set, so you only need to set up things once. Finally, Looper Mode is fully compatible with my other script Song Mode. If you own both, you can enter Looper Mode by pressing both the Not and Session buttons at the same time on Push, or by holding the Mode Select button on the launch pad. I hope this will help you make the best use of Live's Looper and have even more fun with it.